G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. Just some great little uh, pockets of water, uh, just slower moving in, a, in amongst this faster stuff, which can hold some, some fish. Um, you just can't help but cast there. We've got some pools further up that I'm dying to get to, but it's just one of those things. As the sun's going down, it's it's hurry up and slow down. So uh, you've still got to take your time. You're just going to make every uh, every cast count. And we've been using the uh, the grasshopper, and with the indicator, well, as an indicator, but I ex expected them to hit it, but uh, just didn't really work. It's getting a little bit later in the evening, and there's quite a few little uh, bugs about, so I'm just swapping to an Adam's parachute, uh, and that will sit right on the film like an emerging uh, insect. But I'm also keeping that that nymph on the bottom too, so. Still, if they're feeding uh, under the surface, will still be a chance. With all the uh, the dry flies, you always want to put this floatant on before it gets wet. So and that just stops it absorbing any water, or limits the amount of water anyway, and uh, makes it float much better. And hopefully. The fish will start rising and they'll eat this. Always got to have a plan. It's just a shame they don't always work. It's got a beautiful little run. I mean, you couldn't get a more picturesque setting. Just cascading over those rocks. And you've got nice cool water and uh, well oxygenated. It's trout heaven. Not too bad for fishermen either. The only tease here is just in the uh, the eye line there. There's another pool above. There's about three fish rising at the moment. So it's hard to concentrate on one thing. And it's very important that you do actually see your fly, uh, particularly if you're using it as an indicator. Sometimes uh, it's hard. There'll be a shimmer just from depending on where the sun is and uh, it, you virtually can't see it. You, you, you're blinded by, by the um, reflection. And there was a fish rising up here, but I knew I couldn't cast or see my fly from that angle. So fish up here and then come back along that way, and you're gonna be able to see your fly. So when he does take it, you know when to set the hook. I've just been a rock. A bit of fish rising up there. Sometimes, um, particularly the tail of the pools, is where you're going to get your smaller fish. So uh, your big grandpa will be, he'll be right up at the head of the pool, get first crack at the food, and he'll kick the, the smaller fish uh, out of the way and down the back. So uh, quite often too, like a splashy rise is a smaller fish because they they're still learning on how to eat properly for the least amount of energy. So sometimes a very tiny little sip signifies an, old or, an older or a cleverer fish who knows how to feed properly and is generally a bit larger. So uh, there's a couple of really nice rises further up. So we'll go up and target those just before that sun gets down.
There we go. Oh, he's up. Yeah, nice fish. That was good. We're just coming up to this lovely run, and uh, you just we, well, we've been hoping for for uh, for quite a while, but um, you're just really expecting a fish to be there. So, and this this river is just outstanding. This is um, like I, I do a lot in in New Zealand, and to me, this reminds me every bit about New Zealand. You've got clear water, you've got bush, untouched bush being in the Kosciuszko National Park and you've got fit fish. Beautiful. I'm happy. I mean this is, uh, we've got the Air 4 weight which has got a, still got a good bit of power in it which is pretty handy. I mean that, that's a that's a good fish in this river. He'll, he'll be uh, pound and a half or so. Perfect. It's good. When you can get the head out like that, they're not going anywhere. We can go with the tail on that one. But that's magnificent. We've uh, been fished here, I guess it's um, throughout throughout the, the middle of the day and, and um, in, into the evening and it's it's been um, hard going. Enjoyed it absolutely immensely because it is so clear. We're seeing some really good fish. Yeah, you don't just don't want to go back to work when you when you can do this. So yeah. We'll get him over here, get him out of the net, and get him back in the back in the in the water again. That's a just a stunning brown. Just in such good nick and, and just jumping all over the place. Just great. Yeah, just fantastic. Good tail. Beautiful. So we're good. And that's half the beauty. You catch them, I mean, you can keep the odd one if you want to, but we like to put them all back so that they're there for when you want to come and catch him or your kids want to come and catch him or your wife wants to come and catch him. It's, it's there for for everyone and you can catch him a few times. We'll have a lot of fun. So he's uh, he's good to go already. Perfect. Good. Plenty of go left in him. So I think uh, that'll about do us for today. That's probably not a bad one. Your last cast you get a, a stunning brown of a bit over a pound in the Swampy Plains River on a magnificent day. And that's what you've got to do as well. When you do fly fish, stop and have a look around and go, geez, look at these mountains. Look at the, the bush, you know. Um, everything's just amazing so just to, to take a little bit of time to appreciate everything and you have a lot more fun so uh, yeah I think we might just leave it there and uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed uh, the episode up in the snowies and seeing what the rivers and that are like around here and what the fish are like sometimes it's not always easy but you persist and it'll pay dividends so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the show and I look forward to catching you next week on the fly mm -hmm.